due west. Keep in mind, it is only a tropical storm right now. However, it does have the potential to become a hurricane. And if that happens, it looks like it's moving right towards the southern tip of Florida, and it could possibly move into the Keys as well. That's all the information we have for now. But of course, we'll keep you updated as we ourselves get it in. Thank a you, hurricane man. coming our way. Finally, a little excitement in this joint. Excitement, my ass. You ever been in a hurricane, stupid Yankee Irish boy? No. That's what I thought. I can't tell, though. Might not even turn into a hurricane. Might just peter out. No way, Bubba. That's a howling, rolling hurricane. But the weatherman says she doesn't even know if it's a hurricane yet. Weatherman? What the hell these college kids know? They still got diaper rashes, for God's sakes. Oh, me. Oh, me what? Look at my eye. Her tail is twitching. That's a sure sign. If this gator's tail started twitching, a hurricane is on the way, sure as God. Everybody get a move on. We got to start getting ready. Son, now you're going to find out what you're really made of. You'd never ever be someone who feels too tough to cry. It helps to cool the aching in your heart. And there isn't any reason for you not to try to feel and find your way out of the dark. You can live with people and never know them. But when you die together, well, for a little while, you can see it all. When the hurricane hit, at first it was all a big joke. The largest natural disaster in the history of America. And all my friends could do was goof on it. Nero fiddled while Rome burned. And we partied while a level five hurricane was heading right for us. What are you doing? What's the trouble, Bubble? What? What's on your mind, Turpentine? Didn't you hear? A hurricane might be coming. Really? Hot damn! They don't usually hit till September. Well, don't you think we should get out of here? These trailers could just blow right away. This is hurricane season, the best time of the year. Negative ions pushing out from that big bruiser. You can feel the electricity in the air, like the rough tongue of a cat licking up the nape of your neck. Whew! Makes the hairs on my arm stand up just to think about it. Look here. Whew. You're part porcupine. Mm-hmm. Look, you lay your nostrils to the wind, breathe deep, and kick ass. Life is too short, honey. In the next 36 hours, you are gonna know you're alive. Wait here, King Lear. I'm gonna go put on my ruby slippers. Okay, people, I will not be caught sleeping, understand? If this storm comes, we'll be prepared. Nobody's going to die because I was stupid. Sheriff Cody. Yes, ma'am. Is the road to the mainland clear? All clear. Okay, good. Annie, advise all pedestrians to move to safety. If this thing becomes a hurricane, I want all people off the island. Yes, ma'am. I want this island better prepared than it was when Betsy hit in 65. People, this is Key West, my home, greatest place on Earth. And we have some of the great bozos in the solar system living here. True statement. These idiots tried to surf the tidal wave back in 65. Sheriff Cody? Yes, ma'am. When the winds hit, 
I don't want any windsurfing. No windsurfing. No parasailing. No parasailing. No kite flying contests. No bungee jumping from the lighthouse. And no toga parties. Anyone caught wearing a toga in this hurricane will be arrested. Hey, would you wash my clothes for me, please? Thank you. All right. Here we go. Are you having fun yet? Yeah, yeah, this, this is a blast. You know, hurricane toga parties are an ancient tradition on this island and should not be taken lightly. You damn fool, you better get that chicken over here to me before I come over to that store of yours, chop you up into little pieces and put you in the stew pot. Uh-uh, uh-uh, don't you even think about charging me extra cause of the emergency. You try to slide the price up on me and I am going to bring your daddy back from the dead and turn him loose on you. He was an honest man. Uh, imagine him trying to make a profit off of me during a hurricane. How much are we charging for drinks tonight? Double. The National Hurricane Center is still monitoring the storm closely. Right now, this tropical storm is backing winds of 70 miles an hour. Now, if it gets up to 75 miles an hour, it will be declared a hurricane. And you can almost see the beginning of an eye starting to form. So once again, it is still a tropical uh -oh. storm. There she go again. upgraded to a hurricane if, in fact, it increases five more miles an hour. That's all the information we have for now. Back to you, Kelly. Ricky was having a good time. Ricky was having the time of her life. But me? Something inside of me was starting to wonder what kind of party this was really going to be. People, be afraid, right? Be very afraid because this storm that coming could sink this whole island. Yeah, man, the wind that coming could pick you up like a paper plate and take you straight to the moon. But you don't have to worry. No, because you got a chance to buy me special hurricane protection charms. Only $10. This little fella right here will guarantee to protect you against rain, tidal waves, and winds up to 110 miles per hour. Yeah, man. What do you do if the wind hits 120? Oh, I'm glad you asked that question. Then you need to buy me special class four talisman. Yeah? Class four talisman guarantee you up to 150 mile per hour wind. But that's five dollars extra for that coverage, you know. I'll take one class four. All right, man. Now who else wanna buy? All oh, the litter right here want to buy one. There you go. All right, now, man, you want to buy, I know you want to buy one. The calm before a storm. A hurricane is real. The air is dead. The wind is gone. It's eerie. You can hear your nerves screaming. The hairs on your neck are on fire. Your body knows it's too damn quiet. Central with more on that developing storm. Drink up, peoples. This bar Let's been standing during 100 years and 10 hurricanes. Drink up. At 3.15 today, the tropical storm that has been brewing in the Atlantic was upgraded to a hurricane. Hurricane Andrew is on his way due west into South Florida. He is backing winds of up to 90 miles an hour. And as you can see, if he continues to move west, he could land anywhere from the Palm Beaches into Key West. Now, residents of the Keys in particular are urged to prepare for the possibility of evacuation. You'd never ever be someone who feels too tough to cry. It helps to cool the aching in your heart. And there isn't any reason for you not to try to feel and find your way out of the dark. To feel and find your way out of the dark. It seemed 
seemed like everybody on the island was heading for Gumbo's bar. Don't ask me why. It was just a plywood shack. But somehow, it seemed safe. Hey, come on. Come on in, y'all. This bar been standing during 100 years and 25 hurricanes. Got a special on drinks, too. You smell that, Savannah? Smells like a hurricane to me. Gods are awake. The mind is clear. And the soul, the soul checks his watch and tries to remember how long it was sentenced to stay in this strange world. Suck him up, peoples. Ain't no use to be sober. Won't do no good tonight. What's the matter, young fella? Times like this, life is very dear, ain't it, son? Anything beautiful is sad. Know why? Because we recall it cannot last. That's the glory of cut roses in a vase. They die in two days. And tonight, this girl's beauty is life itself, gorgeous and short-lived. We understand such things as this. On days such as this, Attention! Attention, please! Sometime late tonight, Hurricane Andrew is due to touch down in South Florida or the Keys. If you have a brain in your head, you will get your butt off this island. Run. Run where? We're all standing at the station, and the trains are always leaving, and the soul, the soul checks his watch. Wonders. Is this storm my ride out of here? Is this hurricane my ride home? Baby, talk that trash. <laughs> that sign. Gotta come down. Yes, ma'am. You okay? A okay. Hail Caesar! What are you still doing here? I'm a true island man. I'm not afraid of no wind. Listen, I hope this thing works. Oh, no. My clothes are gone. Have you seen any clothes here, sir? I ain't seen them. Oh, great. The hurricane's coming, and I'm dressed like Mark Anthony. Yeah, but you look marvelous, though. Don't bitch. I got caught in a flash flood at Mardi Gras dressed as a sugar plum fairy. That's too bad. It was bad. Cabs wouldn't stop for me. Dog took a chunk out of my tutu. I couldn't make no time because the crotch on them tights was strangled down around my knees. Dog finally cornered me. I had to fight him off with my wand. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. You know what? You're making me crazy. You're making me nuts. You're treating this like it's some big party. Yeah, it is, man. Every day in paradise, a celebration of life. Life? Yeah. We might not have a life after this thing hits. <laughs> when you got to go. You got to go. Oh. You know what? I'm losing my mind. Good luck, Brutus. Give me a beer, man. Sheriff Cody! What's the situation like on US-1? Flowing slow, but smooth. Good. How many people have left the island? The tourists are getting the idea, but the locals are digging in. Damn it! I know these people. They think it's a joke. Time for a big party. Sheriff Cody? Sheriff Cody? This is not a joke. Understand? I will not allow lives to be lost from foolishness. Understood. You better understand me. You better understand me better than I understand myself. Arrest that man. You? should be shot. If I had my way, we'd execute you in front of City Hall and play it on television every 20 minutes. This man is a killer. Oh, he may not pull the trigger, but people are going to die because of him. Lock him up and throw away the key. Easy, Nero. What the hell is going on here? Huh? It's a bad time for historical reenactment. What are you going to do, shoot me? 
Fun is fun. I completely grok. I myself have impersonated historical figures and jumped off low rooftops. Not everybody understands this. So for all this, I'm going to jail? Au contraire, taxpayer. You are going on a secret government mission. Mission? I just want to get out of this ridiculous outfit and get off of this island. That's all I want to do. You get your clothes, you get on your hog, and you get out to the dolphin place and check that the doctor isn't flying blind. Then the two of you get your butts off this island. And for that, I don't have to go to jail. Message received. Thank you, Sheriff. Jojo, do you happen to have Dr. Riley Clark's phone number? Now, why would I have Dr. Clark's phone number? Good point. Clark, 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 cry, Christian, clam, Clark, Clark, 294. Hello? Oh. Line's dead. Oh, uh, I'm not surprised. Wind's already blown up north. You think this thing's really going to come? <laughs> yeah, Seamus, man, it's really coming. It's like I'm splitting two. Part of me, part of me is scared to death and thinks that all of you people are crazy for staying down here and that we're all gonna die. Then, then there's the other side of me, the writer side of me who wants to experience it. You know, like Hemingway when he covered those wars. That's how he got shot, you know? Everybody said, you're crazy, but he experienced it. That's what I gotta do if I'm gonna be a great writer. I gotta live it, I gotta live dangerously. I keep flip-flopping back and forth. Should I stay, should I go? It's like to evacuate or not to evacuate. That is the question. Hey, can't be a writer if you're dead, right? <laughs> Seamus, come back here. Look, man, it's coming, but it's not going here to here. So why are you being such a wimp? Wimp? In high school, I was the craziest son of a bitch going. <laughs> I was nuts. I would play chicken with a freight train. I would do high dives off of water towers. I wasn't afraid of anything. I'd risk my life for a $5 bet. So what changed, man? Me. Back in Jersey, I didn't care what happened to me. I didn't even have a life, so it didn't matter what happened. But down here on this island, I'm happy. I like it, and I don't want it to end. You know what I'm saying? You know, man, Hemingway would stay. Yeah, but Tennessee Williams would be in Orlando by now working on his next play. Good point. had not really risen to the surface yet. It had been snoozing in the bottom waters like an octopus. But it was stirring. It had one eye open. It was definitely time to get out. Listen up. Listen up. I want everybody out of here right now. This place is unsafe. I want the saloon shut down. Shut down? What are you talking about? Shut down. This is not a time to drink. This is not a time for strippers and floozies. Close up now. This bar being open through 40 hurricanes, I am not about to close my doors tonight. Well, then I'll put you in jail. You just try it, Missy. I'll sue your butt so fast, your girl will walk by itself, get up and go to church Sunday without you. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. People, you should be packing up and headed for the mainland. This is not a time to drink. People, this isn't funny. And I don't want your blood on my hands. It's your choice. I 
I've heard that tone in her voice before. Sounds like she's getting awful thirsty. Just hope she can stay on the wagon till morning. The National Hurricane Center has just informed us that Hurricane Andrew has now been upgraded to a Category 4 hurricane. That means winds around the eye wall themselves are up to 140 miles an hour, and it's continuing to move due west. In fact, there is a hurricane warning in effect for parts of the Palm Beaches down into Key West, and residents of the Keys are urged to evacuate immediately. This is a very strong and potentially hazardous system. The Florida State Highway Patrol is reporting some slow... Hit it, flamehead! What, you old bastard? Come on! That's right! That's beautiful! Oh, yes! Woo! Oh, that's beautiful, yes! Hello? Dr. Clark? What? What are you doing here? Well, you need any help? Uh, Sheriff Cody sent me over to see if you are right. And I tell you, you have to get off the island because this island might not be here in the next 24 hours. I'm fine. What about these guys? Are they going to be all right during the storm? Well, if they stay here on the pen, the surge could smash them up against the rocks. We don't want that to happen, do we? No. no that... That's right. My little angel, you beautiful boy. <laughs> So we opened up the gate and let him out to sea. They head for deep water. Ah, cool. Huh. Hello. Come here. You want to give me a kiss? You want to give me a kiss? Huh? Come on. Have a kiss. Can I have a kiss? Have a kiss. Have a kiss. Oh, thank you. Uh How come you never talk to me that way? <laughs> Please. Do you relate to people the same way you relate to dolphins? Well, that would depend on the people. Dolphins, they're loyal, yes, and they're sensitive, and they're so gentle. Have you met any people like that? You came to help. Help. Okay, what do you want me to do? Well, we gotta lower the sea gate so we can get him out. I gotta get on the boat. Yeah, stick the paddle. What about the engine? Uh, we can't use it if it frightens the dolphins, so. Okay. I'm getting on. Where are you going to go during the hurricane? My house. You know, you locals are crazy. The radio, the news, the TV, the mayor, they all say to evacuate, and you guys are treating this like Gene Kelly and singing in the rain. You got it? Yeah, got it. Go deep! Go be safe! That's right. Go deep! These dolphins, they're smart. They're heading for cover. What's your problem? I don't have a problem. Okay, fine. Just blow away. Me? I want to get off of this boat, borrow some money, and get the next flight out of here. Come on, let's go. Stumbling in the shell on the edge of the darkness Picking up the pieces of your dreams Blending eyes to searching for that speck of spark All day long, the local TV station played footage of old hurricanes. And this strategy was designed to improve our morale. <laughs> Hurricane Andrew has now been upgraded to a Category 5 hurricane, which means the winds around the eye wall are now up to 155 miles an hour. To give you an idea of how big and potentially dangerous the system is, this eye right here is 11 miles wide. Now, the winds associated with the hurricane stretch 100 miles outside of the eye itself, and again, it is still moving into parts of South Florida. The potential outcome of a Category 5 hurricane can be catastrophic. So once again, residents east of US-1 are urged to move 
inland, and residents of the Keys are urged to evacuate immediately to the mainland. Check me, and I'm out of here. Good game. But where you going? I'll be back. That's fine, but where you going? Winds are blowing, darling. Of course it is. The hurricane's coming. Now, where you going? I'm going to go see my real lover. You be careful. You be real careful. me, baby. Hurricane Andrew is still a Category 5 with winds now of 155 miles an hour. Let's take a closer look at some of the coordinates. Currently, he's about 55 miles east of Miami with latitude 25.7 and the longitude 69.7 west. He is still moving west at about 14 miles an hour but he is intensifying as he does so. We could see a slight shift in the eye as well. Now, if it moves a little bit further north, the eye could move through the Palm Beaches, but a shift to the south will put the eye directly in line with the center of the Keys. And in fact, there's a mandatory evacuation of the Keys and the coastal areas up to the Palm Beaches. Roads are still open in the Keys, but residents are urged to evacuate immediately because they will be closed shortly, and you want to get out while you still can. What's going on? Why isn't everyone evacuating? Evacuate my butt. I've been here through 50 hurricanes. I ain't moving an inch. We'll be here when the morning comes. Yeah! Maybe you will, but I won't. I need some cash back. Forget it. Where's your toga, boy? Back on the bed. Too bad. You were starting to make a real reputation for yourself. News hound! Boss! Glad to see you. I've been looking all over for you. You got any money? What? We gotta get out of here. Out of here, where, News Hound? Off this island on the next plane. <laughs> oh, you too? Great. Can you advance me some money? You're a fraud, Irish boy. A phony. A three dollar bill. A wooden nickel. You call yourself a writer? You come down here to the end of the world looking for life, you said. Looking for the juice. Looking for the lightning in your veins. So maybe one day, maybe one day, you'll be a real writer. Real right on my black butt. You a crock of crap, boy. To think Papa Hemingway tucked his tail between his legs and took off peeing down the road at the smell of a hurricane? No, probably not. You leave a foul taste in my mouth, news hound. You're right. You're right, I'm gonna stay. Too late. Too late? Why is it too late? I didn't see your true colors. Now get out of my wind. I can't breathe with all this bile in the air. Wait a minute. You're right. I was weak. It was a moment of weakness. You saved me from myself. Thank you. It's what I came down here for in the first place. What, am I crazy? Of course I'm staying. Wild horses couldn't drag me off this island. I'll drink this hurricane. I need a drink. <laughs> Maybe you ought to give him a hand. Upon an attack. What? That means no problem in Swahili. Boy, go out there and help the man. You need any help? Uh, that's no, okay. You see anything? It's a big bastard. You saw it? So the edge of it. Where are you staying when it hits? Staying? You're not staying here? Man, don't you know what's going on? Doesn't matter. My feet are nailed to this island. Like Ulysses, I'm gonna strap myself to the mast. You, uh, you ever been in a hurricane? Oh. No? That's what I thought. Have you? 
It's a bad one. Bad? How bad? First, a wall of water near 20 feet high comes crashing at you off the surge. That's not a problem. You just find high ground. Then the winds kick up to 140, maybe 150 miles per hour. I've seen a man one time had a pelican driven straight through his skull by that wind. Coconuts, they turn into cannonballs. A pine it's your heart driven by a wind like that. That eye hits here. There won't be a building left standing. I'm not leaving. And then if by some miracle you do survive the storm, then the really bad part starts. Bad part? What bad part? All the snakes, alligators, cockroaches by the hundreds of millions come up into the houses. They cover your floor like this crackling, squirming carpet of bug. Huh? Man, I'm out of here. Still open? They're about to close at any minute. Thank you. Please. You'd never make it. I can make it, trust me. No, traveler. You'd be riding right into the hurricane. I kept the road open as long as I could. You are late. What about him? He outweighs you by several tons, and even him I'm worried about. All day long you've been telling people to leave, so just let me go. That was then, this is now. There's a hurricane coming! Then it is time Hunker down. All right. but you can see the associated winds with the hurricane stretching as far west as the eastern shorelines of South Florida. Now, again, if there's a shift in the system at all, it could move over Lake Okeechobee, and if the shift is to the south, the eye could move straight through the Keys. If you look at the size of the system... You think it'll hit us? Most times, these devils shunt off up north. But this tricky bastard looked like he got a mind of his own. What if the eye hits us? This building be all right. If the eye hits us, this building will be all right. Don't lie to me. If it hits us, there'll be nothing left of this island. Five miles per hour. That brings it up to a stage four storm. All residents in the Keys are encouraged to evacuate the mainland. The Florida State Highway Patrol is reporting some slowing. Be right back. More on the emerging storm. Let's go to Chick Allen at the National Weather Bureau. Chick? <laughs> Check something. Shouldn't you be inside? 
I can't move. You're all right. I feel like if I let go of this tree, I'm going to start screaming. I'm going to sc scream and scream until I scream the laugh right out of my throat. I heard you liked all this. Just pretend. Sheriff Cody stayed out half the night making sure no homeless people were left stranded. He was like a shepherd protecting his flock. Everybody counted, and everybody had to be inside, safe. Together, you're coming with me. You can't stay here. What are you doing in my I don't want to hear it. Go get your coat. I, I'm not going with you. Listen, I've been watching you, okay? I know you got a million PhDs and you're supposed to be some big shot, hot shot, research scientist, whatever. But you don't want to be here alone tonight. This may be the last night of your life. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous, my ass. You've been watching the weather report. You're just as scared as I am. I am not scared. You're just as scared as I am. And I am so scared, I am breathing my liver out of my nose. Now, please, come with me and be with people. Uh Excuse me, Superman. You are the guy I heard who was running around town with a toga on. Pardon me if I am not awestruck by your wisdom. All right, I was a lot younger then. Look, I appreciate you checking in on me, Doctor, but I'm fine. I am not a dysfunctional nutcase that needs to be brought in from the storm. I'll be just as safe here as I would be with a bunch of howling yahoos in a barn. Now, thank you very much, Doctor. It was kind of you to stop by, but I would to be on my own. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Doc, look. You got a lot going for you, more than most people. You're beautiful, you're brilliant, and you're lonely. And I know lonely. I got a PhD in loneliness. Now please, come with me. No! That was corny. Yes, it was. Get your coat. You're coming with me. We're gonna have a lot of drinks and a lot of fun. In a few hours, people are going to start dying. They don't even know it yet, but their time is up. They're just sitting in their kitchens, you know, listening to the radio and watching TV, and they're saying to themselves, we're going to be fine. But their time is up, and they don't even know it. Tomorrow, we're going to read about him in the newspapers. But tonight... Tonight... Oh, God, don't let me start screaming. I'll, I'll never stop. I got you. I got you. I got you. You come on. You come on. You come on. We got here. We got a brother along the way who needs safe harbor. All right. Set him on the table, Yonder. Okay. Oh, look who's here. Come on in, little lady. I was sure hoping to see you tonight. All right, well, see, can you squeeze in there someplace? Nice. Really scary. 
Oh, well, I'll tell you a little secret. So am I. What's with her? Her father was killed in the storm of 65. You stay here at Gumbo's tonight, and we'll make it true somehow. And you can, you can do it sober. I should have got all these people out of here. I should, I, we should be out listen, of here. Listen to me, listen to me now. You did everything you could. There wasn't a damn thing more you could have done. You ain't responsible. You hear that? You ain't responsible for the whole world. That's my job. No, 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 don't smile. That would never do. <laughs> we interrupt this program with this special up-to-the-minute weather report. The National Hurricane Center has just informed us that Hurricane Andrew has shifted to the south. That means he is on his way into Key West. Now, residents there should be prepared to... Ooh. What happened? Feel better? Yeah, you, you look a lot better. Wanna sit with us? darkness picking up the pieces of your dreams burning eyes to searching all that speck of pop pouring tears to cool if I were hard People lost their lives that night. Why we were spared, I do not know. But I did learn that we are all always at the station, and the trains are always leaving. You should never ever be someone who feels too tough to cry. It helps to cool the aching in your heart and there isn't any reason for you not to try to feel and find your way out of the dark stay tuned for scenes from next week's key west 
voodoo. This thing is real. Or just plain weird. I think you've been watching too many Casper the Ghost reruns. You're in for a shock on Key West next Tuesday. Everybody in Beverly Hills has their little secrets. For Kelly, it's diet pills. For Brandon, it's his gambling. But tomorrow, they'll find out how dangerous some secrets can be on an all-new 90210. Then, the honeymoon's over for Heather Locklear and Billy. But when he tries to patch things up with Allison, will he be too late? Find out on an all-new Melrose Place tomorrow.